Hi, I'm Danielle Collins and today I'm going to show you some yoga and Pilates. I'm going to show you a few sequences which are designed to be done every single day. They only take a few moments and you'll notice they make a huge difference to your health and fitness. All the exercises are going to help to strengthen and tone the abdomen. They're also very good if you get any back tension. You'll notice a really good release through the spine and you'll also notice your back muscles getting a lot stronger. All the way through the yoga and Pilates, we're going to breathe nice and deeply. We're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And if you can, you're going to try and pull the lower part of your tummy in all the time. This will help to tone and strengthen your muscles and it'll also help to keep your back nice and supported. So we're going to start off coming onto our hands and knees. We're going to place our hands underneath our shoulders and place the knees underneath the hips. We're going to start by inhaling, looking up towards the ceiling, bringing the bottom into the air. We're then going to exhale, arch the spine the other way, tuck the chin in, pull tummy muscles up and in, and keep this going. Inhale as you look up, and exhale as you look down. So this is called the cat sequence. It's an excellent gentle movement. You'll really find it helps to release back tension and a very good exercise to do if you spend a lot of time sitting down every day. So we're gonna keep this going for a little bit longer now. Really tune your breathing in with the movement. It almost becomes like a moving meditation. The breath and the movement work together nicely. Taking one more round, inhale coming up, exhale, really pull your tummy muscles up and in this time and then bring your spine to a neutral position. We're then going to take this a little bit more advanced. We're going to tuck our toes under, lift up our knees, raise the bottom into the air and come into a downward facing dog. So we want to adjust our legs so they're hip width apart, spread the fingers and really feel the bottom coming as far up towards the ceiling as you can. Then lift high up onto your tiptoes, pull your tummy muscles up and in, and you're going to wave the body down to an upward facing dog. Drop the shoulders, open the chest, and then tuck the chin in again, pull tummy muscles up and in, back to downward dog. And just keep this going again using your breath rhythm. Notice your spine really releasing now. It will also help to release tight hamstrings. We're going to take one more time. And then drop down onto our knees, untuck our toes, bottom down towards the heels, forehead onto the mat, into the swan pose, just stretching it out. Really feel any upper back tension release. Then uncurl back up gently, lengthen your spine and then come to lie onto your back. We're now going to move on to three Pilates exercises, really working with the core. So we want to allow our lower back to come as close towards the floor as possible. Drop our shoulders, bring the hands by the side of the hips here. Then when you're ready, you're going to lift your legs up into a 90 degree angle. Knees above the hips, lower part of the legs parallel to the floor. Then lift up your head, neck and chest, look down towards your abdomen and start to pulse the arms up and down. As you do this, try and pull the lower part of your tummy up and in. We're just going to take three more breaths here. We're really working the upper part of our abdomen 
and you'll find the stronger this area becomes, the stronger the muscles in the middle of the back are as well. On your third breath, bring your feet down, relax your shoulders, then linking your fingers behind the back of your neck. Next, we're going to work on the muscles at the side of the waist, the oblique muscles. So the stronger these become, the stronger your lower back becomes, and you'll also find this exercise really tones this area nicely. So start off lifting up your head, neck and chest, bringing your right knee up, extending your left leg out, and bring your left elbow towards right knee. And then gently swapping legs, coming to the left hand side and keep this going. And we're going to take one more time each side. Then release the head down, knees in towards the chest just to stretch the back hands by the side of the hips then keep your right knee where it is and extend your left leg out you just want it so it's about 10 to 20 centimeters up off the floor this exercise will work in with strengthening and toning the lower abdomen which will strengthen the lower back so we're going to very slowly swap legs now bringing left knee in as right leg extends out and again so keep this going now as a continuous movement try and bring your lower back as close towards the floor as you can here if you feel you want to advance this and you want to work your upper abdominals as well as your lower just link your fingers behind the back of the neck lift up your head neck and chest look down towards your abdomen and just continue your leg movement. Then bring your knees in towards your chest, lower your head down, hug the knees in, just rock from side to side, really feeling your lower back relaxing. Focus back on your breathing as well. Then take hold of the back of your knees, roll yourself gently up to sitting, just come to a cross-legged position, lengthen the spine, close the eyes, bring your thumb and index finger together, and we're just going to relax the whole body. So we're going to take a deep breath in through our nose, and as you breathe out, feel all the muscles letting go and relaxing. Just take two more breaths doing the same thing. Then gently opening your eyes and your back should feel nice and released now. You should really feel that you've had a great workout on the tummy muscles as well. Hope you have enjoyed your core and back workouts.